Hey, um, what's up to everybody out there, okay? This is New Orleans, Louisiana. This is voodoo. This is not, this is not Juggalo. This is goth and voodoo, okay? You don't believe me that I'm part of voodoo? Watch this. Hey, man, the voodoo cola, voodoo cola, voodoo kai. What we want is a spirit day, man. I part Jamaican and I clear you, all you zombies, turn back to human now. I cast your demons out. You may have your life back, zombies. My gift to you, you never do it again, zombies. And Lady Mama Mojo gives you your life back. You may be free of your curse, zombies. For it was not your fault. I got it back, Dr. Lucifer. The people that you turned into zombies, they are innocent. I have the proof. They try framing me up nine times. They lied to society about who I was. And now I ask of you to bless them. Listen to my soul. Because I spare them the consequences of death. Will you please bless me? I would like identification relocation program with all of my sisters, my mom and my dad. My mom, a DEA agent that put me in witness relocation program. My mom, Talek Driver Panko, and my dad, a bandito. I ask this name, the power of the spirits. For they are not blood clots. No, oh, I put in word for them, Dr. Lucifer. Women in our culture like me are heard. We are listened to. We are accepted. And now the proof it wasn't a fault. Turning, in, turning them into a zombie was bad doings on you. But you got the wrong information on them. You thought they was bad. You thought they was doing wicked and heinous and evil. And they was not. I met a zombie. His name is Tofu. And Tofu needs release from his curse. Be a real zombie walking around here. Give him his mind back, Dr. Lucifer. I put in a word for him. Because the guy that turned him into you and you turn him into a zombie, he is a predator. Or the zombie to bite my nipple off and then brutally sexually assault me. Zombie Tofu was there and he was starting to uh, pleasure himself. And I said, No, put your clothes back on, zombie, and leave the home. Never to return. And he obeyed my wishes, for he is not corrupt, evil, or wicked. And neither am I. I ask the anointing power of the spirits to communicate with you, Dr. Lucifer. Screw face. Screw face. Would you please do the reading, screw face? On Tofu, I don't think he was guilty. Tofu is a lost soul, not guilty. He did not know what he was doing. He hung out with that guy long before he ever got turned zombie. That dude is a master frame of artist. On turns zombie Tofu into human with control over him and then put Tofu in that guy in another crime victim's room with Tofu about ready to help crime victim. 
to release him from his curse, release me from everything evil that has been inflicted upon me. Same case, me and Hofu, same damn thing. I got those with cobras and rattlesnakes and shit. Dr. Lucifer, you were lied to about who I was, just like you were lied to about who Tofu was. Okay. I ask the power of the spirits. Spirits, cleanse this home. Bless it, protect it, protect everyone in this home. This is only me. Meaning real voodoo right now. Seeing it first time. I'm part of it. A posse, and not mentioning which one because we are code of silence. I said too much even about the posse. <laughs> yeah, I'm also working on it in law enforcement. Yes, the bust the bad and free the good. I work for all forms of people. And the bad, the polluters, the liars, the cheaters, the thieves, the ones that want to do wicked, the crime victims like me. I have a crime victim of Dr. Lucifer, will you please annoy the curse upon Pierce County area? And will you please protect your soldier, me? Okay, W. When I went to the four corners on the website and going to the center wishing for my death and clicking. Okay, I was saying I wish my predators dead because I was innocent. Dr. Lucifer, you need to do a quick reading on that. And you need to spare me and free me of uh, my shackles and chains. And you need to move me to a different location. One free chance at life. Proofess, will you please anoint it? Dr. Satan, will you please bless it? This coming from Lady Mama Mojo, ordained reverend. Me. I know voodoo. I know what the Zuzus are. I know what they look like. It can be part at simple arts and craft stores. You don't divulge where the Zuzus are or what the pins mean on the Zuzus. Oh, I ask in the power of the voodoo because the perpetrator wants to turn me into this a zombie and I'm asking that you anoint a blessing around me Dr. Lucifer and every posse member anoint a blessing around me to get a reset button a fair chance of life where I no longer have to do this because I no longer have to protect myself because others are protecting me let's give it a chance dr lucifer a fair chance no colluders in that city no no conspirers no predators give me a factory reset where it is adults only someplace like where jamaica came up to form voodoo there are no kids there only adults. I'd be the youngest one there with my sister Jennifer Banco. Can you please bless me? Christmas is coming up, Dr. Lucifer. Come on, screw face. Yule is coming up. All oh, Hallow's Eve, Samhain is a very sacred holiday to Wiccans like me. I'm a religious. I am not a sinner. One year old crime victim raped me. I mean, I was a one year old crime victim that got raped. My family prove it to you, Dr. Lucifer. If you ask the right ones under force and the rest, they will admit it to you that I was a one year old girl when I got raped or one year old hermaphrodite when I got raped. Dr. Lucifer, look at my hand. Okay, I hold it to the head. My hand is literally that small. Look at the, look at the pinky finger. 
long and small. Now look at the thumb. That is female. That goes of her. I have a Jennifer Banco style foot. I have a Caroline Fox style foot. Charlotte's foot, Charlotte's foot is bigger and fatter than mine is. Same thing with Crystal Lee Fox. And they perpetrating on Voodoo. They think they're badass Mason Prairie of Scion and shit. Scaring the fuck out of everybody in Washington State, man. And scaring everybody in California, man. They fucking branching it out to Trump, man. And Trump is the one that got me when I was a year old, man, a girl, man. Can you please relight a totem for me for a birthday gift? You my daddy, Dr. Lucifer. I'm your birth daughter. Would you please come through for your daughter, your baby girl, me? Daddy. I hurt. Because you won't even talk to me. I wish you would call me. Wish me a happy birthday. Send me a gift of a candle that is for healing and protection. Send me a doll, a voodoo doll. That will be my best friend because nobody will. Nobody give me fair chance. Let me have that voodoo doll for a friend. I marry that voodoo doll. I treat that voodoo doll well. Give me a voodoo doll, daddy, please. It would mean a lot to me. That thing would never be sold. That thing would never be traded. People would have to chop my hand off to get that doll for me. Will you please do it? Make sure that doll has all the healings and protections. Make sure that I'm safe, secure, and protected. Allow that doll to give me friends. Real human friends. I make friends with that doll first. And you can test it that way. If I treat that doll with respect and for a month straight, I treat that doll with respect. Because I can't remember two days after some shit. Because of uh, my head injury and shit. Daddy, they busted open my head, man, in third fucking grade. If it was even that, it might have been ninth grade. It might have been first grade, kindergarten, fucking preschool, dad. Gordo, Eddie Gordo, daddy, will you please send me some good vibes for Christmas and my birthday mule? I love you guys. I love unconditionally, Dr. Lucifer, Dad, Eddie Gordo, Dad, I love unconditionally. I don't harbor grudges. I harbor hurt, but not grudges. I'm the most forgiving, caring, kind, compassionate person in the world. Teaching other people how to do makeup right. Okay? Teaching them how to be safe about it, not get themselves hurt. You gotta come through for me, Daddy. Now, I show you what group I want to start, Daddy. Let's bless it with that. Let's bless it with the coven that is sacred. Okay, the symbol is my daddy symbol, Marilyn Manson. It go like this. Except I had a different twist to it. Like that. And this right here. This is edge of the circle coven symbol on the forehead. I took what I had, my dad's, and I turned it holy. I turned it into a into a Christian fish upside down. Daddy, what makes you think I'm evil if I'm gonna turn something that Marilyn Manson made evil into something holy? What makes you think I'm bad person? Come on now. I'm teaching makeup tips. I'm teaching other people how to look good. I'm teaching them how to do the scary fucking voodoo face right. The fucking clown voodoo face. I'm teaching them how to do it right. Bossy, will you please protect me, back me, bless me. Will you please anoint the totems and everything. Make some good karma, some good mojo my way. 
I'm worthy and deserving of it. Everybody deserves a first start at life. Everybody gets a second chance. I never got a first chance. Daddy, read the cards on it. Come on now. Daddy, I swear to God, you give me a second chance at life, which you would consider a second chance, based on me going there, 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 center, death, and clicking. You give me a second chance at life for that one simple mistake. And you will never hear me doing any shit like that again. Any posse member willing to do it? Give me a life. Show me love. I'm part Haitian. Haitian culture, where are you protecting me? I'm one of you guys. You can see the voodoo in my face. Dude, I am a voodoo practitioner. Black Rose, that comes from voodoo. The fish comes from voodoo. The dot right there comes from Arab. This comes from Batman the Joker. Okay, not a juggalo. This comes from Batman the Joker. Joker does this shit. Juggalo is more like Batwing. Batwing. Clown in the line only goes to there. And then comes down and drops down here and shit and comes back up. This is fucking voodoo. You're seeing a real voodoo person. Come on now, Dad. If I know the voodoo culture and I know what it looks like, you can certainly do me a favor. I'm asking for a blessing from everybody. Bygones be bygones, everybody. Except for wizards, owes my dad, me, and the rest of the family and the police force. They owe us big money. Dr. Lucifer, you lady mama from voodoo, uh, from voodoo culture in Louisiana that I owe you four hundred ninety five dollars Will you please call the shit in that wizards doing all kinds of collusion and shit in their card game and they owe us big money. Like trillions. Okay, I gladly give you a hundred thousand out of my trillions. Okay, and we split the company all the way around. Now it's controlled by voodoo priests, Magic the Gathering is. Now nobody gonna fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? It's owned by society. We all happy. We all got free cards and shit. Free wax boxes of Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, Revised, 4th Edition, 5th Edition, 7th Edition, 6th Edition. All the way up to the current set, which would be strict saving. Or later. Do they got over 350,000 sets that they're making trillions on every fucking three months? Come on, Daddy. Give everybody in the world a second chance. Give me a first chance. Let's make some money. After all, that that's what the voodoo culture is all about. Helping other people, making other people happy. Giving them their wish. You know, it might be more than they bargained for. We always helping people, Dad, in this culture. Yeah, I threw away my pentagram next Bink. Threw away my pentagram earrings. Bink! Somebody stole one. Okay? Daddy, they constantly steal my social security money. My EBT money. Racketeering me out of it and shit. Even my own voodoo culture racketeering me, Dad. I ain't snitching. You're my dad. You get into the bottom of shit and you're surfacing truth. I can feel it right now. Daddy, I got told that I couldn't relate to African American people with the word. And I got the race in my bloodline. Would you please set these motherfuckers straight? Let them know what's up, Dad. Any one of my dads. MCA, Spice One, Red Rum One, he said, Ms. Bloody Mary, Chrisley Fox. Would you please set these son of bitches straight? Alright, for real, I grew up with black people in my family. They were my best fucking friends. I didn't have no white friends, I only had black friends. Mulattoes, to be specific. That's the only terminology that I know for because Kurt Cobain said, my mulatto. Okay, so I'm assuming it's socially acceptable. I don't fucking know, I ain't been educated on that shit. If it's not, teach me the correct terminology. Maybe it's half African American, half white. I want to use the correct terminology. Something that won't get me hurt.
There, you see the change, Dad, that I'm not going to fucking be preyed upon. All right? Can you do something for me? I just gave you a Christmas gift. Yule gift. Halloween. Can y'all do something for me? Tell you what, you keep the fucking money. Because we're going to do a tour serum here. You guys keep the money. Give me every magic card. When I need some money, bink, sell the card. Okay? They happy, they getting the card. I'm happy I'm getting the money. Let every card be what I want it to be worth. Trust me, I'm not going to gap people. $60 for a fucking cryptic command. Are you fucking out your mind? That shit will be 20 bucks. Alright? 90 for bitter blossoms. That shit will only be like 40 bucks. Pops. They might only be like 20. Alright, black lotuses. Those are only fucking $75 when I get the, when I get the, a hold of them. Daddy, test it. Give me a wealthy, wealthy, wealthy uh, sports card collection and a wealthy, wealthy, wealthy Magic the Iron card collection. They keep all the money. When they need cards, they come to me to buy them. Put Donald Nutson out of business, daddy. That fucker ripped me off big and then stole from a, and then stole from a Haitian voodoo practitioner. They fucked with the wrong ones, Dad. And they need a smackdown from you. Dr. Lucifer, Eddie Gordo, Julio, fucking MC8, all my dads. Yeah, I got high regards for my dad. Every last dad. I, I want to be just like you guys. I want to be singers. I want to own my own voodoo shop. I don't want to fucking own my own car shop. I want to do all the things that my mom's dads and sisters do. They make big money. They can't even kick me down fucking 10 bucks a month. What's up with that? Dan Bucks from Maria Brink? Holy shit, i oh my god! She actually considers me her family! Dude, I, Maria would Brink would send me the first check with her signature. I probably wouldn't even cash that shit. I might to buy a pack of cigarettes or something. Something that I want. Something that I need. Family members from Hollywood. I'm going to put you to a challenge because you see my selfless heart. I'm giving you all the money and I'm taking all the cards because to me, it's the possession, not the fucking money. What happens when money has no currency? It's pointless. But if you got something there, there's a barter trade that can get you something. But if money doesn't have a currency, this turns into a cashless society. What the fuck am I going to do? I ain't, all my shit got stolen. Daddy, you like the totems to get all my shit back for me? Voodoo, will you do that? Haitians, uh, Zopan, will you fucking like, like the totems and shit? New Orleans Jack Daniels, will you fucking like the totems? You are my dads. Maria Brink, will you cast her church the same? Church of Wicca, will you please cast on maybe half Maria Berry? Talk about you're going to reward a crime victim for her intent according to her actions. And you're doing all kinds of shady shit, Maria Berry. The fuck is your problem? That's why David Berry gave me the answer. When you, don't, when you don't know what the fuck to do with somebody, pray to Sekhmet. He'll give you the exact answer. And when you don't know what